Laos is the most heavily bombed country in the world. The equivalent tonnage of a B-52 bomber dropping all of its bombs every six minutes for nine years, 24 hours a day. Nine years of bombing, day in and day out. Three tons of explosives for every man, woman and child in Laos. These are not designed to injure, these, are, these things are designed to kill. This country has been devastated for so many years and now it needs the support of the international community, a genuine commitment. We'll be going to Laos, where MAG has had a clearance programme in that country since 1994. We want to see that those governments who are signing up to a treaty uh, to bring about a ban on cluster munitions actually recognise that it's not treaties that will clear cluster munitions, it's the funds to the agencies who carry out the work on the ground. They need to put their money where their mouth is and get the cluster munitions finally cleared from this land. Cluster bomb is um, a submunition like this that is contained inside a, a, a container, also known as a, a container bomb unit. These are usually dropped from aircraft. Um, the container is dropped at a given height, it splits its skin and dispenses submunitions like this over a, an area predominantly about one to two um, times the area of a football pitch. This convention will ban the, the use, stockpiling uh, of cluster bombs. The treaty for, for MAG will have value if, if it means that governments are going to commit to clearing yeah. up the problem. This is particularly important because it's a big problem in many countries like Afghanistan, Lebanon, Iraq, Bosnia and of course Laos. The container that drops these can contain 650. So if you class as a failure rate of 30%, you're looking at about 196 of these being unexploded, left on the ground after the container's been dropped. It was designed and used extensively in the Vietnam area. Uh, MAG have a program in Laos that are still finding these today and still clearing these today. Some cluster munitions will fail to function. What that then does is leaves an unexploded um, hazard on the ground and predominantly that the civilian population will face once the battle has moved on or the area is no longer deemed a, a strategic importance to the military and they leave that area. The first thing people do once they know the war is over is go and see what's left of their home. That is the time when more people get killed than any other. This picture here is, is a, a boy in Bosnia and he'd found one of these, and he picked it up and banged it against a tree. And it blew up and he lost his hand. If he'd knocked it on the front of the tree, then um, him and probably his, his friends would be killed. These are, these are not designed to injure. These things are designed to kill. This cluster munition, dual purpose, it has an anti-personnel role. It also has a, a shape charge for the anti-armor role. Also, has zirconium inside it, which causes an incendiary effect. It has a fragmentation jacket, which is a target against anti-personnel. It also contains a shape charge. Part of the commitment of the treaty they signed is not just to ban the manufacture, not just to ban their export, not just to uh, destroy their own stockpiles, but provide assistance to the countries who are affected uh, by cluster munitions and make a commitment to do so uh, and provide the funds necessary to do that as speedily as possible. Thank <laughs> you.